Hey there, it's Susan McDonald with Susan Jane Style, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the cool things I've been finding out in the thrift stores lately. Lots of fun home decor, glassware, barware, so let's get started. The first item I have is a beautiful original oil painting, and you can see it's quite large. Still life is the subject matter. It's estimated that the vintage on this is probably sometime in the 1960s, and just a really beautiful depiction of still life. The next item I'm going to show you is also another original oil painting. This is a little bit more abstract and I really loved the colors on this. I wasn't completely sure I had to stare at it for a while but really great colors. Blues, yellows, lemon yellows, lime greens and I, I know that those that blue is really trending in home decor so I decided I would go for it. My next item is another piece of artwork. This is a print, but it is a signed copy. It does have the a pencil signature and it's signed and numbered. And I really liked the kind of 80s, 90s florals in this. And it's a bit tropical, so I think it could be really nice if someone had a garden room or a, ha a home in the South. My next item is a beautiful Art Deco style tray. I absolutely love this piece. This is by Cousin of France, made in France. It's got these black, I think it's like a plastic, but it's a black handle. Again, very Art Deco and great for someone who might want to put his or her collection or trays always make a great bar. My next item is another tray and I've had really good luck with these big floral prints. These come from England and I sold one recently so when I found another one, I bought it immediately. My next tray is not vintage, but I could not resist this yummy Palm Beach color with this inlaid mother of pearl. There are two handles, one on each side. I'm quite sure this is not vintage. Just a fabulous punch of color, yummy lemon yellow. Looks really good with navy blues, with whites, and with any tropical colors, so a great piece. I have one more tray I'm gonna show you. We call it the Coffee Clatch tray. This is from the 1960s, and it's just a very nice oversized round tray, and it's got these sayings on it, make mine black, hot in my cup, let's cafe, coffee clutch, but really fun kinds of colors, hints a little bit to Scandinavian design, and it's just a really nice substantial size for someone's kitchen or if you are serving coffee to a group. I picked up three, I'm showing you two, three of these ceramic glasses recently and they are made in Mexico. I assume that they are hand painted but they've got these really nice kind of smoky blue colors and florals and what looks like tropical desert kinds of plants. So I didn't realize how popular these were so I've seen a lot of these on Etsy and I just think they're very cool for sort of that desert southwest a home or bar or whatever, but just really nice colors and very, very pleasing to the eye. My next piece is this adorable little ice bucket. I have never seen this before and I've been shopping barware for a long, long time. At least, I would say at least 30 years, maybe 35 years. So I was just delighted to find this little bucket. I love the animated detail on it. So you've got a ball top on the lid and then three chrome ball feet. Again, I have never seen this before. It is just the coolest thing. It's got little handles on the side. It is wood veneer a little wood, uh, again, notch detail on the top. It has a porcelain liner on the inside, and it even has a chrome shield detail on the front. If the person who buys this wants to personalize it in any way, you could put someone's initials, a funny saying, or whatever you wanted. Very interesting, unique piece. I'm going to have a hard time letting this one go. My next piece is a very special piece of oversized pottery. I've been kind of chasing and getting into the game of looking for these very nice kind of rough pottery kinds of pieces. So I was so excited when I found this in a thrift store in a very uh, wealthy part of Los Angeles. This is made in Portugal and I love the contrast detail of mostly a matte bottom and then this caramel glaze on the top and you can see how it drips around down the sides. It's got two handles, really a very special piece and uh, I just absolutely loved it when I found it. So some of you guys know that I had worked for Gump's in San Francisco about 20 years 
years ago or so. And ever since then, I definitely have an appreciation or developed an appreciation for Asian inspired home decor. So I did find this, look at this foo dog that I found recently. I loved him and checked him out and he was in perfect condition, no chips, no cracks, no missing tail or paw or anything, but he is so adorable. I love the colors, I love his expression and super excited to add this to my shop. I love finding things that are made in Italy. It's one of my favorite countries and I found this big oversized ceramic tray. Again, trays are great for, um, this one to me would be perfect for a kitchen, for corralling maybe some fruit or maybe it's things that could go with your coffee tea station and just really substantial, very, very nice. Love the colors on this. You can see there's eggplant and some reds and some greens, but really nice, beautiful piece. Here's another piece that is made in Italy. This is a gorgeous bowl. You can see it has a pear motif in the design and kind of a, I guess I'd call it like a sponge detail around the rim, but very substantial. You can see from the side, it's very deep. Just a gorgeous print in on the inside. Very nicely done. It's probably hand painted. Just a gorgeous bowl would complement so many different kitchens. I did find three of these Pilsner or beer glasses recently. These are probably made by Libby. They are probably from the 1960s and they show six, seven, eight different versions of antique cars or carriages. Very interesting, very pretty, good for like the car guy's bar or somebody's man cave who's into antique cars. So there's a set of three of these. So here are some cocktail glasses that I actually have never seen before in all my cocktail and barware travels. I'm showing you the cocktails or rocks glass or double old fashioned and then of course this is the highball. These have a blue and white pattern on them. I think of them and call have been calling them the Genghis Khan glasses. So there's a guy on a horse with a spear and I think he's hunting lions. They're kind of on the masculine side. So I kind of like that they speak a little bit more to the masculine, maybe customer or client on these, but the shade of blue is beautiful. The cream is very nice. And they're just a really good example of a 1960s cocktail glass. So again, three on these and three on these, I will be selling them as a set, a complete set of six. I don't buy too much dish, dishes and dishware because a lot of people are not wanting grandma's china, etc., etc. But occasionally I will find like a set of four or five plates that I think are really fun. So here's an example of something that I did get my, uh, did buy. There are four of these and I love the kind of late 60s, early 70s vibe of this big flower in the middle with the black and the chocolate brown. Just really a beautiful, interesting plate. If you're having a special dinner party, you know, you can just in, in invest in say four plates for four people and just put this on top of like a cream colored china or whatever. So this will pair nicely with, like I said, a cream or a white. Could be very fun on a dinner table. And another set that I came across, this is also a set of four. This is a stoneware by, it's called Up, Up and Away Noritake Prima Stone. And it's really got a fun design that I thought would appeal to some people in that it's again, kind of a, uh, I'd say a 70s inspired design. It's got a balloon, it's got a bird on it. And I like that, that deep blue, which I know is so popular right now, which I think looks so pretty back to the chocolate brownness. So set of four on these. I did get my hands on a couple of brutalist pieces. So I found this in a store and I just was like, oh my gosh, I love that piece. So you would put two big candles up here or you could do something else. You could do a little mini vase with some greenery, but lots of possibilities. It's got a black finish with some gold over it. It's definitely 60s and I'm putting it in my shop as a brutalist piece. My next brutalist piece is this really nice double candlestick holder. I love the lines on it. I love that it kind of makes a heart here at the top. And again, we'll hold two candlesticks and it's really got a nice, interesting base on it. Very fun, very sculptural, and a great piece for someone who is into minimalism or mid-century modern that you want, again, that chunky, brutalist statement piece. I found a very fun, simple, clean, classic martini set. So here's the picture. It came with the stir stick and then it has thick band and a thin band of silver or platinum. And then this is the matching glass. It's so cute. I have one pitcher, one stirrer, and then it's five of these glasses. 
one of my tips for when you are shopping in the thrift stores, if you find the glasses, you know, and there's maybe three of them, look around that whole section because people move things. They're very liberal when people seem to be shopping. They have no problem putting, you know, a martini glass in with the, with the vases or the pot holders or whatever. So in fact, with this particular set, I found the glasses. I was so excited. Oh my God, five of these are so cute. Around the corner on the other side was in fact the related shaker. So thrilled to be able to unite them so they all stay together and super cute little set for that sort of retro vibe bar. I have found some really nice vintage coffee mugs when I've been out shopping recently. So I have five on these. They are avocado green with a really nice kind of swirl, black swirl design. These are, I think these are made in Japan and they have a gold interior that harvest gold from the 70s interior and they're just really quite nice probably hold I'm gonna guess 12 ounces but a nice set of five on these once in a great while I can find something really really amazing in the thrift store I found two of these these are vintage Waterford champagne coupes or champagne glasses and they are in fact signed Waterford I was just delighted to find these because they just have a really beautiful clear crystal glow about them and they were in perfect condition. So a pair, I have a pair or a set of two on these. You guys know I love my glassware. So I did find this fabulous set of six on these Mikasa glasses. Mikasa doesn't seem to sign their, their crystal very often unless you're lucky enough to find something with the paper label still attached. These are in fact crystal. I'll give it the ping test and they have a gold trim along the top, a double line, a thick line, and a thin line. They're very comfortable in the hand and really very, very elegant wine glass. Could also be used for water too. I did find a set of four on these, very cool. It has sort of a black and white marbled effect with a stripe on the bottom, a stripe on the top. I have a set of four on these. It's the DOF, double old fashioned, or they call it the, the rocks glass. So very nice, very, very good condition. No, um, no real wear at all to the pattern, but really nice set. It's always so much fun to find a ginger jar with the lid. So often when you're in the thrift stores, you'll find the jar but the lid is long gone. This beautiful navy blue piece with I think it's roosters. Yeah it looks like roosters and flowers on this and greens and pinks and mauves and that kind of 70s pale blue. Got gold trim and the design is just on one side. Really a beautiful piece. Great for bookshelf styling or again for just a nice accent piece. This is made in Japan. It's always super exciting to find something that I've uh, had my eye on for probably at least a couple of years. I have never found one of these wooden dance ice buckets and I finally found one. I was so incredibly excited. Has a beautiful lid, has a dark interior, and this is in beautiful condition. It's teak, it's signed dance for, in fact, I think it's Crate and Barrel, but really a beautiful, beautiful bucket and just could be so handsome on somebody's bar. I have one more item for the car guy, and I have a set of four of these, I guess I would call this a rocks glass. So I have four of these, each one has a different car. So they're really fun, they're frosted. I'm thinking these are probably late 1950s, early 1960s. Next, I'm gonna show you the cutest set of I guess this is a coffee cup or cappuccino cup. So these are vintage from TWA, I believe, and these are by Rosenthal. I have a set of four on these, cup and saucer, and they're just so cute. I'm sure these were probably used in first class on TWA. Again, they're signed TWA and made by Rosenthal, which is very well known for their fine china and crystals. A really, really cute set. Maybe they could be a fun gift for someone who misses the international travel or with, who would have loved to have been alive in back in the day in the 60s when airplane travel was very glamorous and everything was very refined on those flights. Okay, so that's it. It's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.